Hello, there's a ton of you here. This is awesome. Oh, uh, these costumes are ridiculously amazing. We, I had trouble going through all of them and we we're sorting everybody, but this is going to be amazing contest today. I don't envy being a judge at all. And speaking of judges, we have three brilliant and fabulous judges for you today. Greg Aronowitz, who did all of the real life Minecraft. The beautiful I Has Cupquake, Tiffany. And the creator of Minecraft himself, Notch. So the way this contest is going to work is we've divided it into three categories. We have skins or someone making their own uh, person or something in the game. We have mobs and then we have multiple costumes, which is where there's a team doing the costume together, which this is the first time that that's ever happened. So it's really cool. So in order to get through all of these incredible costumes, I'm going to get out of the way. I'm going to be introducing what their skin is and their name. They're going to come up. The judges are going to tell us what they think. And then they're going to walk off. And at the end, we'll have a top three for each of these uh, sections. So let's get started. Who's ready? Anyone? OK, cool. For our first costume, we have Nathan, and he is Notch. That. Uh, you OK? One more, one more. There we go. I'll, I'll, I'll walk with him. I really like uh, the playing to the judge. This is good. But he didn't know, so that's even more excellent. So, judges, what do you think? Well, I think he really made my agility. Nice. <laughs> Wonderful. Give him a big round of applause, Nathan as Notch. There we go. OK. These are very complicated costumes, so bear with everyone walking up. Next, we have Garrett, and this is his own Minecraft skin. Come on up, Garrett. You OK? Keep going. What do you guys think over there? I love how you actually made slits for your elbows and knees so you can bend. That was really smart. <laughs> Let's turn you to the side so everyone can see it. Awesome, look at that. Give him a huge round of applause. Ready? Okay. And here we have Lily, and she is a friendly creeper. Come on out, Lily. There we go. What do you guys think over there? I love how strongly she's representing that girl. Love Minecraft, too. Awesome. Big round of applause for Lily. Good job, Lily. And here we have James. And I think we probably know who he is. He is Steve with a Minecon cape from last year. <laughs> I like the dancing. Judges, what do you think? I just love all the accessories. It's very nice. <laughs> There's a lot going on there. He, he's fully ready to go. Give him a big round of applause. Come on out. And now we have Gabriel, and he is his avatar, right? And they, oh, oh. Um, I obviously can't read my paper. He's an aviator, excuse me. Um, he's an aviator, nice costume. What do you guys think? Did you paint? How did you do the, how did you do the helmet? Speak into my microphone. How did, how did you do what? 
How did you do the helmet? How'd you make it? Um, out of a popcorn like container, <laughs> and then I layered it over with a bit of like um, this type of material, and then I just used paper for the rest. Awesome! Yeah. Amazing! Big round of applause! Thank you, Gabriel. Here we have Robin, and she is Little Bo Peep, complete with a little adorable sheep right behind her. Hopefully you can all see it. What do you guys think over there? My favorite thing about Minecraft is the textures, and that costume is all about textures. <laughs> Great job, Robin. Well, we'll turn you this way so everyone can see your little sheep. So what's the difference between the Daft Punk and the Kraft Punk? What's the difference? He can't hear you because he actually has speakers in there, so he's got music playing right now. That, that is awesome. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> Give him a huge round of applause. Okay, so we have, we have, wait, let me, let me double check. Is there a real person in there? Oh, okay, there's a real talking person in there. What do you guys think? So big. <laughs> that is a true commitment. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you don't, you can't go to the bathroom at any point today. This is awesome. Give him a huge round of Okay. Yes? Oh, thank you. Uh, except actually, nah. Okay. And here we have Connor! Connor is Steve on a mushroom. <laughs> Judges? So which pair of feet are real? The ones on top? <laughs> <laughs> which, which feet are real? Uh, the front ones. The front ones. Oh, okay, I guess those. <laughs> Give him a huge round of applause. Steve on a mushroom. <laughs> okay, come on out. I'm gonna start telling the judges their numbers on here so it's a little easier. So just ignore that when you hear random numbers. Um, number 10, we have Zoe. She has her own skin. <laughs> Complete with the Minecraft name on top. What do you guys think? How long did that take you to make? How long did it take you to make? A uh, few weeks. A few weeks, I imagine. Give her a huge round of applause. Okay, uh, we're gonna talk to the judges for a second as we, we uh, disassemble some characters over to this side. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay.
Okay. Uh, judges, what do you think so far? This is just, uh, we're only on costume number 10 of uh, 50, I think. That's a very linear costume, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it looks like we can get back. Okay, let's go back. Okay, and here we have number 11, Ian. And it's his own skin. <laughs> Showing off the costume. What do you guys think? I wish it was that bad, John. <laughs> How did you get the actual fabric, that color? Are they like cut individually or? Uh, no, it actually No, it, uh, it looks like it was printed on. Yeah. So they custom printed it. My mom knows it, I don't know it. His mom knows it. <laughs> She helped out a bit. Give it your round of applause. <laughs> Number 12, we have Taylor, the King Creeper. Go on out, Taylor. Judges, over to you. Thoughts? I, I've never had a creeper make me hungry for a hamburger before. <laughs> Let's give Taylor a huge round of applause! Okay, number 13, we have Steve and the Squid. Come on out. Yeah, I, I love the fact that you have accurate squid that actually fly. <laughs> awesome. I, you guys probably will be able to tell when uh, he turns around, but there's actually a, a holster to hold up that huge s stick and keep it balanced. Incredible. Give me a round of applause. Caitlin, come on up. Okay, and here we have Caitlin, and she is in her own skin. Got it. What do you guys think over there? Is it painted? Individually painted on? Is it, uh, no. there are, is it printed or painted? painted. It's printed and then it's layered on. So this has a top layer that's cut out, the side, the headphones are cut out and kind of stick out a little bit. It's awesome. Huge round of applause. Uh, I've been saying numbers, seven. And number 15, we have Ava and she is a creeper. What is that made of? What is it made of? Duct tape and a dress. Duct tape and a dress. I mean, you can't get more creative than that. Can't get more creative. That's awesome. Give her a huge round of applause. The cutest creeper I've ever seen. Oh, we have another complicated one coming up the stairs. Okay. Number 16 in the skins, we have Tommy, and he has his own skin. <laughs> Judges. Are those like post-it notes or something? <laughs> Are these post-its or cut out sheets of paper? Cut out sheets of paper on the whole thing, which is really impressive. Including the back, which has a cape. <laughs> Give me a huge round of applause. Chloe, come on up. 
Number 17, we have Chloe, who is vintage beef and spun. <laughs> Judges, comments? <laughs> it's great. I like the squid. Um, <laughs> how did you make the squid? How did you make your squid? Out of paint chips. Very awesome. Huge round of applause. <laughs> the good costumes just keep on coming. Number 18, we have Austin as Kid Curse. Okay, Kid Curse. You don't want to wait to hear what the judges say? Oh, she's just coming back here. Judges? I mean, he has props, so. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. You give him a round of applause. Her should actually be in the mobs. Okay. Uh, they really should be in the other category, in the mobs, but it's okay. It's okay. They can come up. Okay, number 19, we have Julia Skeleton. We have a few crossovers in categories, but oh, very nice. Are you going to? Don't, don't shoot anyone in the crowd. Okay, okay. What do you guys think? Well, I'm very thankful this skeleton isn't shooting. <laughs> Give her a huge round of applause. Okay, and our last one in this category, number 20. William is a zombie spawner. Judges. The cuteness is hard to handle. It's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel being up on stage in front of all these people? Scared. Oh, scared. Okay, me too. You want to walk off together? Give them a round of applause. that just happened to show up here today. So this is Edward and Santiago in their Steve costume. Maybe out to here? It's interesting the different versions of Steve we've seen today, but uh, these guys are definitely almost too mobile. <laughs> They're pretty awesome. Give them a big round of applause. Those are not easy costumes to be in. Judges, just a second uh, as they move and get ready for the next category. The next category is mobs. Who's ready to see some mobs? What do you think of the costume so far? We've done costume contests before, but this year has exceeded every expectation that I've had. These are 
absolutely incredible. So let's get on to our mobs. The judges look ready. Let's go. Costumes that can walk themselves. <laughs> Here we have Josiah as a chicken. Go on out. It might also be a duck. Huh. Are you a it's chicken kind of or a duck? It's kind of in the game. I'm a chicken. I'm just a chicken for sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give him a round of applause. <laughs> Costume number two. We have Juliet, who is an ender dragon. Did you hand sew that yourself? Did you hand sew it yourself? Did you sew it yourself? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. That is really Amazing. impressive. Purple, purple hair. Give her a round of applause. Yeah. Good job, Julia. Number three, we have Kendall, who is a witch. Come on out, Kendall. Guys. <laughs> so what's your best spell? What's your best spell? Um, I don't know. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. <laughs> Give her a round of applause. <laughs> okay, next we have Haley, who's a pig. Pig has just thrown bacon into the audience. <laughs> a pork chop, actually. Do you want it back, or you want to keep keep it out there? He was so nice, he returned it. Do you want to keep it? Oh, and back to the same people it was meant to be. <laughs> what do you guys think? Uh, it's very creative. Did you come up with the idea of making stuff to throw out to everybody on your own? Yeah. That was a pretty good idea. How many, how many of those pork chops did you have today? One. Just one? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that before you threw it. I would have taken it. Oh, you are really lucky. Good job. Give her a huge round of applause. Shira, who is a mushroom? Come on up. That's really creative. I love the way how she didn't make it a whole jacket and kind of just, you know, had the sleeves. It's really awesome. It's really cute. I love it. This is awesome. How long did it take you to make? About a month, but not every day. Awesome. Give her a huge round of applause. I'll take the handheld. I'll take the handheld, please. Yeah. Number six, we have Ben, who is a wither. Go on out. Dance for them. Well, you're just as creepy in real life as in the game. <laughs> Amazing wither, Ben. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> Number seven, we have Katie, who is a mushroom. I don't know if you can see from over there, but she even has the bright red eyelashes on, the fake lashes. It's really cool. That's Judges? so adorable. <laughs> I want to wear that in real life, just out in public. <laughs> <laughs> awesome job.
Give Katie a round of applause, please. Great job, Katie. Number eight, we have Benjamin as a zombie pigman. Judges. I like the different interpretation of the head. Is that like a soft material as opposed to yes, the cardboard? Yes, it is. Oh, wait, let's see. If I turn this, and it's supposed to be, oh, there we go. Yes, it is a soft material. Yes, it is a soft material. Is that actually like a laundry bag that's painted? Pardon? Or uh, is that like a, one of those storage bags? With it? It's like a fold-in box. Yeah, yeah, one of the folding storage boxes. It's <laughs> awesome. And there's Excellent. tears. <laughs> Give him a round of applause. Awesome zombie pigman. Number nine, we have Savina as a creeper. <laughs> Judges, uh, any comments? Uh, so, uh, Could you please not blow up our employees? <laughs> please don't blow up creeper. Okay. Please. Oh, it's a nice creeper. Just wants a hug. Aww. It's a friendly Canadian creeper. <laughs> So cute. And number 10, we have Kessler as a classy creeper. <laughs> what do you guys think of a classy creeper? It's not one that I've seen before. I, I really like the idea. It's super creative. Good job. Classy creeper! Great job. To continue our theme of creepers, we have Jeremiah the Creeper. That's probably far enough. We'll stay here. Greg, what do you think? I'm not sure how creepy he's planning on making it, but I think I'm going to have nightmares for the rest of the week. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, how, how creepy were you going for with your creeper? I was trying, trying to just impress the judges. <laughs> we are impressed. I think you did it. Great job. <laughs> OK, costume number 12. We have Tia, and she is actually, from our other game, Scrolls, she's Sister of the Fox in an amazing costume, Sister of the Fox. Tia, what made you decide to go non-Minecraft? I feel like Scrolls is a little underrepresented sometimes, so. And you did an, an amazing job of representing it. <laughs> Judges, what do you think of her costume? Amazing. It's incredible. <laughs> I love Look it. at this. Yes. Kind of a fur coat. Not the best choice for Florida, though. <laughs> but let's give her a round of applause. She looks awesome. Number 13, we have Crystal as a red ender dragon. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to turn around? She has a tail. Oh. Ah. Ah. I'm being attacked. <laughs> Judges? How, how much does that rig weigh in the back? Um, it, it hurts. I think it's about five or six pounds. I'm not really sure. Wow. How long did it take you to make your costume? Um, total would probably be about 36 hours. Wow. Give her a huge round of applause. It's beautiful. <laughs> Number 14, we have Emily, who is a blaze. Wonderful judges. 
I don't know how you're ever going to pick any, so I, I'm no, really happy that I'm over here and not yeah, over there. Yeah, it's so many awesome <laughs> costumes. I really like all the ones that move. It looks really cool. What made you come up with this idea? Um, well, I knew that the boys oh. had to move, so <laughs> I just decided to go and buy a, a thing that swivels, so I, I ducted it all together with uh, curtain rods and hung it all together. Amazing. Let's give this beautiful blaze a round of applause. Okay, and here we have number 15, which is Connor, and he is a villager. So, what's your best trade? What is your best trade, Mr. Villager? Um, well, see, I've been trying to trade all day, but I haven't really worked out the hand thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's give Connor, as a villager, a big round of applause. I'm staying back. Okay, number 16, we have Amber as an Ender Dragon. Nice wingspan. Greg, what do you think? That's pretty amazing. Did you make the mechanics for that yourself? Uh, friend helped me with the frame, but I hand sewed it all together. Beautiful work. Thank you. Wonderful. Give Amber a big round of applause as she flies off the stage. <laughs> now we have number 17, which is Arlo, a squid. A, a jumping, dancing squid. I really like the jumpy, swimmy thing. It works well. <laughs> well, it's quite impressive swimming you did there, Mr. Squid. How do you feel being up on stage since you can't see anyone? Uh, it's strange. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who can't see, there's just a tiny little hole right there. <laughs> Not a lot of viewpoint from that one hole. I see one eye <laughs> staring back at me, that's it. <laughs> okay, nope, it's getting creepy now. The one eye staring. Arlo the squid. <laughs> Swimming off stage. Okay, number 18, we have Marissa and Enderman. Judges? <laughs> did you actually know how to learn to walk on stilts before, or did yeah. you just learn for this? I just learned for this. Wow. <laughs> Great job. That is really impressive. <laughs> Marissa, you've been walking around on them like all, I I've seen your costume and you've been on them all day. How does it, my feet hurt just from walking in these. How does it feel? Well, I got off around 12 and then I got back on around 3.30, so not all day. That's still a very <laughs> impressive amount of time. Please give Marissa a round of applause. <laughs> oh, sorry, there you go. Number 19, we have John. Do we have any Dead Mouse fans over there? Well, you know, I mean, it's all about the lights, isn't it? So, did you do all that yourself? 
Um, no. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, that was weird. That's we, to be honest, we I ordered it online and my dad helped me with it, but we put all the mesh on it and all together, so. Awesome. Yeah. Very nice. amazing. Dead Mouse. Ooh, and now we have number 20, Tanner, who is a blaze. Oh, okay, good to know, good to know. <laughs> Mike just whispered, he can't see out of that. Okay, I won't send you along on your way by yourself, but if you stand still, are you gonna show them the spinning? It's really awesome. I like the idea that you use glow sticks. That's really creative. It's awesome. really awesome. What a great Blaze costume. Okay, I'll walk. Okay, you can see below. Oh, and now in another interpretation of a blaze, we have number 21, Jennifer. Can you make this sound as well? No. No, sorry. But I light up. She does light up. Well, the sound is scary, so that's probably a good thing. OK. <laughs> good. We don't want anyone getting too scared here. I'm a friendly one. She's a friendly blaze. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Give a round of applause to Jennifer, the friendly blaze. <laughs> Great job, Jennifer. Do you want this back? No, I don't. OK, cool. <laughs> Same number, 22. I'm not sure why, but just for numbering purposes, put them one after another. Okay. I don't know what happened there. So, how does it feel to be a snow golem at Minecon? Really good. Really good. <laughs> what do you guys think over there? Is that hand painted? Is that hand painted? Yes. Yes. Great job. Give her a big round of applause. the way that you uh, kept all the proportions of the actual dragon, so you actually really look like an ender dragon. What an awesome ender dragon we have here. Slade. <laughs> Number 23, we have Jacob the Snow. Can you keep it? Okay. Judges, Snow Golem. So you probably picked a very good costume for this weather. It's far <laughs> too warm out there. <laughs> I, it feels really nice being right here. It's, it's so chilly. Could you throw some snowballs at me so I can keep them later when it's warm? <laughs> I only have the one. So. He only has the one, so. It's not looking good for your snowballs, Notch. <laughs> Give Jacob a round of applause. Okay, number 24. We have Ashley, the 
Creeper cheerleader, the cheer creeper. Cheer creeper. Team creeper. Oh, we have dad there. Gotta get a good shot. I'll move back so it can just be her. Okay. Oh, it's video, perfect. Uh, what do you think of uh, Team Creeper? It's really adorable, and I, I like it when you put your own spin on the character. It's really creative, I love it. Let's give a cheer for our Cheer Creeper. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Ashley. Gonna uh, get to the mic first. Yeah, uh, I'm very happy there's so, so many mushrooms because they really don't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> what, what made you decide to be a mushroom? Because um, not too many people pick them, so. Because not too many people pick them. So awesome! Andrew the mushroom! And the last one in this category, we have number 26, Alex the Creeper. <laughs> Complete with a portable pig. <laughs> Judges. That pig is amazing. The pig is amazing. How long did it take you to make that? Um, I don't know, because I made it for a Valentine's box a long time ago. Oh, a, you made a pig as your Valentine's Day box? Yeah. Oh, that is really <laughs> cute. Give Alex a big round of applause, the Creeper. <laughs> now the judges are going to be tallying their votes from that round of mobs because we are getting ready to move into a category that we didn't even put on the sheets because We've never really experienced it before, but this year we have the multiple category or team category because we actually had a lot of people who decided to get together and make costumes. So, judges, how are you, you guys ready? Wow, you guys are really fast. Okay, our first team is Logan and Brady as Steven and Army Man. Come on out. Judges? I don't know what to say. It's kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> you guys look scary. Well, maybe just you. Yeah, you look friendly. You look a little scary. It's Army Steve. Give them a round of applause. Team number one, Logan and Brady. Jockey. Um, how old is Mr. Jacob? He's three. He's three. And well, you guys have been here a long time already, and they've been standing, and Jacob is an awesome trooper sitting sitting back there, and I guess you're a really strong mom for holding him <laughs> back there the whole time. Jacob, do you want to say hi to the big crowd? Hi. No? <laughs> That's okay. You don't have to. So Give them a big round of applause. I, I forgot to ask the judges what they think. It's really creative. I love the creativity. It's awesome. <laughs> Great job. It is so it's adorable. adorable. Now, now. Oh, there we go. Hi, Jacob. Now, do you want to say, say hi to anyone? 
you want to say hi? How, did hi. You, did you, did you like your costume? Yeah? He was, he, we, we had on here a little note, if Jacob is asleep, they won't go on stage because he was kind of nodding off for a while. Give them a round of applause and now Jacob can go to sleep. Hi, Jacob. Okay, team number three. We have Madison and Logan as Jack and Sally. <laughs> well, you know, it is Halloween, so this definitely has a special place in my heart right now. <laughs> Jack and Sally. I love it. Number four, we have Laura, Fabrizio, Rebecca as minions. <laughs> hey, 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 break it up. <laughs> Our Despicable Me minions Minecraft style. So how hard were those things to put together? That seems complicated. Well, um, it kind of took three weeks, and it was really hard. <laughs> yeah. Very difficult. Why did you guys decide to go as a team? Well, we're cousins, so yeah. Cool. And where are you from? Um, South Florida. South Florida. Give them a round of applause. The Minions! <laughs> Number five, we have Jessica and Chloe, the Creeper Girls. <laughs> Cupcake, you think this is something that you would wear? I really love the headband. Those Thank are you. so cute. You guys did a good job. Give them a round of applause. Creeper Girls. Okay, number six, we have Steven, Dominic, Arshin, Kyan as the village. <laughs> Steve is back here. There we go. <laughs> Are you guys aware that there's a creeper in the village? <laughs> oh, is someone going to... Are you going to answer? Are you aware there's a creeper in the village? Yes. <laughs> the village. Just checking. Ready? Okay, there we go. Ready, guys? Right. Okay, let me see what we have here. Josh, Sierra, and Heather as the Wither Boss. Uh, again, I really love the lighting and, and the whole way it's put together, but I said it earlier, like certain costumes, there's so much commitment. It's like great to go to a con with your friends, but you guys are really sticking together. <laughs> how, how do you guys know each other? We, uh, this is, I'm the mom. Okay. <laughs> These are my two kids. And uh, I'm telling you that this whole Wither Boss thing has really brought us closer together. Yeah. <laughs> way to keep your eyes on kids at a con. Like, you sew them into your costume and they can't leave. This is great. How, how, how does it feel being in there? Um, it is hard to walk. It is hard to walk. What about you? How are you feeling? Um, it's hard to breathe. Okay, hard to breathe. We're, we're gonna give them a round of 
applause so they can move off stage. It's so cute. Marcus, I, I think you have to you have to comment here. What do you think? Well, I don't want to affect the judges here, but you guys are definitely gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> Give the notches a round of applause. And again in the commitment <laughs> portion. What? We have Brian, Paige, Sue, and Avery as the Ender Dragon. Oh, uh, and uh, I, uh, I think you dropped this. Someone, <laughs> a, an ender egg, right out, <laughs> right, right on stage. That's okay. We'll we'll leave that there. Um, judges, a four-person ender dragon. Uh, the costume is amazingly well done. It's very, very cool, very technical. Uh, so glad you guys are in the costume, but I think you're missing the parade at Disney World right now. <laughs> <laughs> so you are all a family. Yes. Yes. And who came up with the idea of let's all get together in a costume? The Ender Dragon swallowed the family. Oh, the Ender Dragon swallowed the family. Let's give them a big round of applause as we will somehow, I think, back up. Thank you. Would you like your egg back? Do you want your egg? Okay, we'll give it later. And number 10, we have Ridge Dog and Kaz as Ridge Dog and Valley Cat. <laughs> Something unique about their costumes is that they made it all themselves. These aren't store bought, as beautiful as they look. Mostly me. Mostly you. Mostly me. Okay, no credit, Ridge Dog. Well, I'm just lobbying for high-res skins, like really high-res. Really high-res skins. This is the, the really high-res version of your Minecraft skin. Judges? I was going to ask if it was hand-sewn. That's awesome. I, you can talk more about it. What, how long did it take? It took four days for his coat, two days for this coat, and a little longer for this because I made all the ribbon, too. And that took forever. Wow. It's all embroidered with the machine that took hours. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. Give them a round of applause. Ridge Dog and Belly Cat. <laughs> and now we have David and Owen, number 11, Zombies. <laughs> Judges, these are our last people of the day, the zombies. I love the style that they're made in. It's kind of giving me flashbacks of the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. <laughs> How does it feel being in there? Very warm. <laughs> Very warm. Give these zombies a round of applause so they don't attack. <laughs> from watching them all walk up on the stage, slide to the side, be sewn together. This has been the most epic costume contest that we've ever had and some of the best costumes I've ever seen. So let's see, judges, I think I'm gonna get some votes from you coming up soon. Who has my votes? Scott. Oh, 
Okay, as we wait on votes, we're gonna call up the top three from each category, but can you give all of the contestants a round of applause? Not only did they create those incredible costumes, but a lot of them dragged them here from very long ways. So when you can imagine how many pieces those are, it's really just quite incredible. And I'm still not sure where my votes are. The judges acted so good passing those down. Hmm. We're very Guys, creative, what do you think overall of the whole contest, Greg? As, as, the, as the artist who, one of your things that you love is bringing Minecraft into real life, how did you feel watching all of those costumes? Well, I mean, I feel amazing because so many people are trying to do the same thing. Like, everyone plays the game and it wants to bring it to real life. So it's just fun to be part of that community and see it growing so much. I see someone running towards me, and it's Scott. So <laughs> let's see what we have here. Yeah, kind of. Talk amongst yourself for a second. <laughs> yeah, but I mean. I love that you're like. Yeah, but... So we'll just do the, the winners? Okay. Oh, you do? I went to the Halloween Horror Nights. It was, I haven't been there in forever. It was just...
neighbors here. The judges had an incredibly difficult decision and I would not want to be in their place. I don't even want to be in their place of having to announce the winners because everyone looked so incredible. So before we announce any winners, I would just like to say that these are absolutely incredible costumes. We love them all. Thank you so much for loving Minecraft as much as you do in order to wear these sometimes huge things or, or difficult things or you can hardly walk on stage. So everyone over there, you are amazing. Because we are running super short on time, we've decided to name the first place from each category. They will be invited on stage tomorrow night at the closing ceremonies if they feel like ever putting on their costumes again. <laughs> I don't know if they'll want to. Um, let's go first for Skins. The winner of the Skins portion of the contest is Steve on a mushroom, Connor! There's Connor! We, we, don't, we, we don't need to make him fuss with coming. Oh, oh. oh okay. Okay, they're gonna, they're, he's gonna make his way up. As he makes his way up, we have a tie for, actually we have a tie for both of the other rounds. For the mobs, we have Crystal the Red Dragon and Slade the Ender Dragon. Come on up. And for one of the most difficult Things of all, the team contest. Again, the judges couldn't decide, so we're gonna give two first place prizes. The first one is the Ender Dragon with Brian, Paige, Sue, and Avery. And Joe and Jacob, the cutest spider jockey ever. Can I get my judges to be escorted up on stage so we can take a group picture with our amazing winners? Thank you to everyone who was in the costume contest. You were absolutely incredible.